all doing out there? I am here to give you Tuesday's workout. And that's why you're here, to watch me give you Tuesday's workout. If you don't understand what is above me or below me, I don't know where I am on Tribe. So um, wherever the workout's posted, I don't know if it's above, below, but here I am to explain and go over it. Um, today you guys have a skill, right? We are calling this a skill of handstands, right? So whether it be kickups to a wall, practicing your kickups, um, holding on a wall, practicing those handstand holds, or practicing walking on your hands, um, any one of those will work, any variation of, okay? So we'll start with kickups, right? Kickups, when you kick up, we want to make sure that your legs, I always kind of show with my fingers, right, should be like this, right? We kick up those legs. You should never kick this other leg up until this leg hits the wall, right? So if you guys are practicing on an open floor, it can just be literally and back down, right? Keep those legs like this. You notice I'm not kicking this other leg up. It's that one leg comes up and this leg just stays nice and straight, okay? What we don't want to see is where we come up and we kick up that other leg. Uh, especially if you guys are going up to a wall because that will stop you from getting to that wall. Once that one leg hits the wall, you can bring the other leg on up, right? But when you're first practicing kickups, um, start with keeping the leg without bringing that other leg up to the wall. Um, once you can get there, then yes, you by all means, you guys can do kickups to that wall, okay, um, fully. Um, if you got the kickups and get all the way up there, then you guys can work on a handstand hold. Maybe hold for you know 30 seconds or a minute. Try and get that strength in the shoulders. If you're already good at holding, then you guys can work on handstand walks. Okay. A little um, a little thing to kind of help you with handstand walks. If you guys have a chair or a box or something, you can kind of walk sideways on your hands, right? So we can kind of do this. I'll bring my chair over here. Right? We know that pike position that we get in when we do a handstand on a box usually. We put our feet on this chair, right? And we literally put our hands through, our head through. We can work on walking to the side and walking back, okay? We can kind of work on that to get that skill of walking on our hands. That's another choice of kind of messing around with your handstands, right? We're just messing around trying to play with it, see what we can do, okay? So those are your skill, not necessarily a strength. You can kind of do multiples um, wherever you're at. That brings us to the wad today, okay? The wad is four time, one round through. Um, you guys have 40 deadlifts, okay? Remember, keep that back nice and flat. Drive those hips back, heels in the ground. We're gonna come down and up, right? 40 deadlifts. Once you're done with your 40 deadlifts, we have 40 handstand push-ups. Okay, if you guys can do them on the wall, awesome. If you can't, we can come down to the ground and do pike handstands, right? So what we wanna see there is we come down into that inchworm position and we wanna focus on bringing our head forward, right? We notice that when we do handstands, we wanna come forward to our head, okay? We don't wanna come through those hands, right? So it's forward and then up and drive that head through. So you wanna drive through at the top and then come forward to the head and drive through. If that is too easy, you can move your feet in. I always tell people, you've heard this many times in my, when I give these um, workout breakdowns, if you Bring your feet in, it is more challenging. I would rather be on the wall than bring my feet in really close. So you can get strong by coming up on these toes and literally coming forward and then up and drive that head through, okay? Now you do have 40 of them in that first set, so you want something that you could probably do set to 10. If it's less than 10, move those feet out and we'll build up because you do have a lot of reps. So you have 40 deadlifts and then 40 handstand push-ups. Okay, the next round, 30 deadlifts and then 30 handstand push-ups. And then you have 20 deadlifts. And here's the kicker. The last round is a 200 foot handstand walk. Okay. Now, if you guys don't have handstand walks, I'll go over that. If you guys have a short distance, 
try and measure it out, guesstimate it. I mean, take some steps. I mean, usually I tell people, I mean, it's 200 feet. Figure if you take a big step, that's probably about three feet or so. So you can kind of measure out if you need to do it in your garage or your living room where you're doing 20 feet, 20 feet, 20 feet. That's fine. I mean, we're just looking to add in a little bit of variety and get people that can walk to have some fun and walk. Um, if you can't handstand walk at all, um, you can do shoulder taps. So it'll be a hundred plank shoulder taps. So we're gonna hold in a plank position and what we're literally gonna do is tap the opposite shoulder, right? So we're here, sorry, I should face you, but we're here and we're gonna go tap, 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 tap. You have a hundred reps. You're gonna tap each shoulder 50 times. And that would be a 200 foot handstand walk modification for you. Okay, so that is the workout for Tuesday. If you guys have a skill, handstands, mess around with it. It's time just to kind of play around, get some skill work in. And then the wad, handstand push-ups, deadlifts, and you end with a handstand walk. Hopefully you guys are enjoying these. I'm enjoying coaching you on Zoom. If you haven't been on Zoom, please join. We just had, I mean, we have two new people joining on. It's nice seeing new people come on there, um, but come on and join us. Other than that, guys, stay safe, stay strong, and we will see you tomorrow for Wednesday's workout. Have a good night, guys.